Welcome back. Well, the U.S. women's national team will face off against Sweden in the round of 16 early on Sunday morning and what's going to be a massive test for them. Uh, the U.S. haven't looked like the dominant force that we have expected them to be in this tournament, and Sweden is going to be tough. They easily won Group G. They won all three of their matches. Um, and it's interesting because the U.S. and Sweden have faced each other seven times in a World Cup, but interestingly, not ever in a knockout round situation. Ooh. Yeah, so it's always been in group stage. So let's take a look at some of these head-to-head -head matches that we've seen in World Cups previously. And the U.S. have done well, but the Sweden team, I think, could give them some problems. Uh, Jenny Chu, when you think about this opponent, what areas of concern do you have? How can Sweden hurt the United States? I think to that question exactly is set pieces. Mm -hmm. um, they've scored what, I think four goals on corner kicks this this um, World Cup. Yeah. Um, Amanda Ilstedt. Exactly, you have to mark her because she will be lethal on corner kicks. If there's one thing to point out that is a danger that Vlatko has to point out to his team is to make sure that they don't get scored on a penalty. Are you I confident mean, on Are you confident in Alyssa Nair in the air? No, not at all. She has flailed quite <laughs> a few times. You didn't have to add in the air there. <laughs> is anyone confident no. in Alyssa Nair right now? No. And again, look, no disrespect to her. Obviously, you know, she's, she's played well when given the opportunities in the past, but after the club season she's had and without really too many opportunities to really showcase you know, a lot of saves or, you know, standing on her head when needed, it, it's it's still as we mentioned on the wall like it's still kind of a, you teeter a little bit when you see that Alyssa Nair is in there. Yeah, well, I mean, if you look at the Netherlands goal, I think she wasn't positioned properly. And then in Portugal, there was at least two moments where the rebound comes. She she gives a rebound right in her six. Portugal just didn't have anyone there. And then when she came out and flailed and missed missed the the uh, the service. So I think that is the big question mark for the U.S. when she gets tested. And I, and I think against Sweden, she will. Can she come up with those big saves and not give up rebounds? But Sweden, on the flip side, they have shown some vulnerabilities as well in those wide areas. Their outside backs defending mm. 1v1 because they, they get so they narrow. So narrow. That's where the U.S. need to shine. And it starts for me with Sophia Smith and Trinity Rodman. Can they get isolated 1v1? And not having to drop deep and get on the ball because the midfield hasn't been good in terms of building out of, of the back and finding those areas about, and playing quickly. What about 2v1 with the fullbacks getting forward? Well, we haven't even seen that. Right. That's, I think but that's what miss, that's but you, missing. But you don't even need that when you have so, so, Sophia Smith and Trey Robin. The I, idea I, I, I don't necessarily agree. Because you're, you're we, telling we, me they we, can't beat, break people they, down. They, they, they've been one we've owned a lot because that's been their only option. Often because the fullbacks don't get high. When we talk about the fullbacks getting high, they haven't been superlative. And they, the U.S. looked better when Crystal Dunn was getting up further up the pitch. The thing and about Crystal important. Dunn is that when she comes um, inside or she comes up, she goes inside. Mm -hmm. she, she she likes to go inside. So that's not opening up that space um, wide like we're talking about. Is the vulnerability? So if she's going inside, uh, Fox is better at going. You know, using the, the width of the field. Fox was a little bit better against Portugal getting high. Yeah. So you, you mentioned Trinity Rodman and mm -hmm. um, Sophia Smith, so that's who you would start up top. What other changes do you think we have to make before that? Well, because well, yeah. Roosevelt is out with the yellow card suspension. I know we haven't seen her yet, but Sorry. I would like to see Ashley Sanchez. Thank you. Because I think she has the intangible. She can play. She's a tough tackler. I've seen her in, in, in the Ireland friendlies in particular. She's, she goes after it. She's a tough tackler, but she, she's the missing creativity that the U.S. needs in midfield in terms of getting on the ball and driving at opponents. The way she plays with the Washington Spirit is almost like a withdrawn nine because they, they split the strikers, Ashley Hatch and Rodman, so wide that she can kind of just roam anywhere in the attacking third. She was the one who gave Julie Ertz fits. Mm -hmm. yep. When they played Angel City in, in mm -hmm. Washington Spirit. Very so hard time. I would like to see her put in because Savannah DeMello was the other option, and I think Ashley Sanchez a, a, warrants a, a, a chance. Charlie, I agree with you, but the fact that she has not played in this World Cup is a problem because they haven't used the depth. They haven't, you know, obviously we've talked about subs being an issue, but when we talk about um, Sweden, they had nine changes from their starting 11, their original starting 11 in the last match against Argentina. They are well rested. Our starters are not well rested in that sense. So what would you do? 
No, I'm putting Ashley Sanchez oh, okay, in. Okay. I'm mm. putting Alana Cook in because I've yes. been asking and asking well, and asking, too. what is the reason Alana Cook is not playing? Why is Julia Ertz not playing the six? Um, we haven't gotten any answers so there. Ertz I'm should hoping be the that six. something. I, yes, I yeah. would move Julia Ertz to a six. I, I said that we, on Box to Box the other day, too. We all have the same lineup. There's like a consensus about what should be the 11. I think the only argument is Trinity Robin or Lynn, Lynn Williams. Lynn Williams, yeah. Hmm. I think that's really the only argument. I think across the other 11, we're, do you we're in feel, agreement. Do you feel stronger about one or the other at this yeah, point based on I, performances? I, for me, I think Trinity Robin starts, and Lynn Williams is so impactful coming off that bench mm -hmm. for this team. She offers up a style of play that the defender, the, after chasing Trinity Robin around the pitch for you know, 60, 70 minutes, yeah. will be just gassed. You bring in Lynn Williams. A hey, superstar. Speak that truth. I actually, Thank you. Speak that I truth. actually would love to see Alyssa Thompson in this match. She brings something else. She has this flair to her that is so. Do you think she? Would you like her to start? Or do you see her coming? Yeah, in over who? Sub? No, I'm not saying she's she's starting. Mm -hmm. I'm saying like she, she, I want to see her on this ah, pitch. Gotcha. And this is when you move, Sophia Smith to the nine, and you bring Alyssa Thompson in. Morgan. Out. Talk about yes. how many minutes. Alex not Morgan has played. Yes. You have to take her out at, in this match right, not as if a we no, continue. In the game. Alex not out starts from the starting himself, lineup, yeah. but yeah. out during the match. You can move Sophia Smith. You can bring in Alyssa Thompson. Around you can do the, the Lynn 60, Williams. 60, 65, depending on how the game the goes. The thing that I want to see the most, and Charlie, you mentioned it when we were doing our, our bracket segment. I think that, yes, they've gotten out of the, the group stage, which is always the mission. But again, we just we haven't seen them kind of turn it on the way that we have wanted to. And I, I'm hoping that... Now that we are in the knockouts, now that we have reached the round of 16, there is just an extra gear that is put into, into place. I, there's a sense of urgency, because I feel like they haven't been playing with 100%. a sense of urgency. And that is what I, that's really what I want to see on and, Sunday And morning. taking more chances yeah. and risks. In the first minute of the match against Portugal, Andy Sullivan wins the ball, and instead of playing it in behind, because Sophia Smith and Lynn Williams were on their, their horses, she opted for a sideways pass or a backwards pass or a safe pass. This is the time to be more direct. Mm -hmm. When you have that much space and a team is maybe high pressing you or in a mid block and you can finally use the space in behind, allow Sophia Smith and Trini Rodman or Lynn Williams or Alex Morgan to, to run. Make them chase. That is how you're going to open up more space in the midfield. And then you can start to get on the ball. And I'd like to see the U.S. keep the ball a little bit more, connect passes. To what you're saying, um, Susanna, I think the last thing is that the Netherlands could have been a wake-up call for them. Mm -hmm. It could have been what they needed to have a good performance in these knockout rounds. Hopefully that's the case. Otherwise, we just haven't seen that complete performance like we've been mentioning. Netherlands yeah. or Portugal, you mean? Portugal, sorry. Mm -hmm. Port yes. Well, actually kind of both. Well, I was <laughs> yeah. going to say, you could actually go both ways there. Um, 5 a.m. Sunday morning, the United States taking on Sweden. Well